With all the insanity going on at this Olympic Games in Paris, France, between the opening ceremonies, all the virtue signaling, it wasn't exactly a surprise that the IOC then allowed men to compete with women in boxing. Boxers who had previously been banned from international activities because they did a DNA test and they found out that they were actually men, these trans athletes, they were allowed to compete in the Olympics for some strange reason. Boxers who failed gender tests at World Championships cleared to compete at the Olympics. Duo from Algeria and Chinese Taipei to box this week. Algerian Amin Khalif accused critics of a big conspiracy. Well, guess what? Now that Algerian Amin Khalif, the one who failed a gender test because guess what? You've got XY chromosomes, which means you're a man. They got in the ring earlier this morning. And we maybe narrowly avoided a disaster because what we have been saying for so long, what is it going to take for you freaks out there that are fine with men getting in the, the ring, getting in a swimming pool, wherever it may be, who is fine with men competing with women and destroying women's sports? What's it going to take? It might take somebody dying. That might be what happens. Well, Italian boxer Angela Carini was forced to get in the ring today with this freak, with this man. And after a couple punches, probably the kind that she's never felt before from a woman, she decided that uh, enough is enough. I can't do this. It's probably not safe. I might get seriously, seriously injured. And she was forced to withdraw. Take a look at this. Riley Gaines, after 46 seconds and a few hits to the face by a man, Karini forfeited the fight. Call me crazy, but it's almost as if women don't want to be punched in the face by a male as the world watches and applauds. This is glorified male violence against women. Let's watch some of this. And again, that was the uh, finally lasted 46 seconds. And after a few punches, Angela Carini recognizes the same thing that everyone else should. Men should not be in the same ring. The punching power that a man has compared to a woman, it is not fair and it is not okay. And you are going to get hurt. And she's forced to withdraw. They call it right there. 46 seconds in. Here's another one. Female boxer Angela Carini breaks down in tears as she falls to her knees in despair after being beaten by a biological male boxer during a women's boxing match in, in the Paris Olympics. And she's probably worked her entire life to get to this point, right? Worked her entire life. You had this opportunity and you end up in the ring against a competitor who's not a woman. And th this is how it ends for her. And this is really sad. And you've got this disgusting piece of shit that tries to come over and, hey, it's okay, it's okay. Angela Trini wants nothing to do with this guy. Rightly so. Rightly so. We can have another look at some of these punches that got landed as well. Let's watch them. You can just see how frustrated this woman is, and rightfully so. It's fucking sad. It's sad that this is where we are. And I want to read a few comments. The reaction from Angela Carini herself. Listen to this. She revealed afterwards she pulled out after being hit harder than she'd ever been hit before. A first punch dislodged her chin strap, and a second smashed against her chin and bloodied her shorts. I am heartbroken, said Carini. I went to the ring to honor my father. I was told lots of times that I was a warrior, but I preferred to stop for my health. I've never felt a punch like this. I got in the ring, did my duty as a boxer, and tried to fight irrespective of any controversy. I wanted to win. After the second one, the blow to the nose, I couldn't breathe anymore. I went to my coach. I said, enough, because it takes maturity and courage to stop. I don't feel like fighting anymore. Absolutely disgusting. That transgender, that male athletes are allowed to get in the boxing ring and beat women in the face. And no one wants to call him out because you don't want to be labeled a bigot or a transphobe or bullshit. This is not right. This is not okay. And it's it's lucky that nothing worse happened to Angela Carini in the ring. Obviously, with a couple shots, she could tell that this is a dangerous situation to be in. And she bailed. She had to withdraw. We've seen people injured badly by transgender athletes. Something needs to happen. So we need to put a stop to this before someone actually does fucking die.
Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. So, um, what in the world is going on? <laughs> you know, there is a time when diplomacy can go way too far. Okay, so this woman, quote unquote, was born a man, passed the gen did not pass the gender test, so it's for sure that this is a man. And so now he wants to get in the ring and he wants to fight his kind. He calls himself a woman. Now, it is his human right to say, okay, I don't want to be a woman, so I'm going to change my gender. But then when it comes to athletic rules, the Olympics are allowing this man to get in the ring with a woman. Okay, so what about domestic violence? And once again, we have to go back to the fact that this is when human rights are is no longer human rights because you're impeding. Now, it is his human right to say, I don't want to be a man. I'm going to change my gender. But what about the woman in the ring? What about her rights to a fair fight? That's not a fair fight. That is an imbalance of power. I mean, it's domestic violence. This is absolute nonsense. And the Olympics allowed this to happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So let's talk about uh, the fact that this is just absolute insanity, okay? And once again, um, you have to think about the woman. She has a right to a fair fight. And like I said, it is one thing for him to have the human right to say, uh, I am a man, but now I want to be a woman. But when it comes to uh, the policies for um, athletics, it needs to be fair play because the reality is this person has the strength of a man. On the outside, he may have long hair and look like a woman because he has adjusted some things, but there are some things that we can't adjust. What about his strength, his natural strength as a man? And he gets into the ring with this woman and he's punching her in the face. This is absolute nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. And this is once again, an overbearing, this is no longer human rights anymore. Because once again, you have stepped all over the toes of the woman that's in the ring and wants a fair fight. Absolute nonsense. One of my friends also mentioned and I have to concur with uh, his sentiments on here. He said, I don't want my daughter in the bathroom with a guy. And that's for safety reasons is totally understandable. So again, there are things that you can't change. Maybe you can take your uh, tonsils out and sound like a woman. And maybe you can get... Um, uh, hormone shots to create breasts, but there are just some things that you cannot change. Those genitals down there. So a young girl is in the bathroom and now here comes a, a woman that looks like a woman, but now you got your whole genitals out. And it can be unsafe for the young lady. So once again, what about her rights? What about this young girl's child's rights? So that's when uh, it is negating the laws, the policies can negate themselves. And that's when we have to step in and come back with reason. Okay. And we have to be reasonable and make sure that everybody's rights are not violated. When a human right is put into place and its policies destroy the rights of others, then it is no longer an effective policy that is promoting diplomacy, that is promoting democracy. So I hope that there uh, is a change uh, in those policies for the Olympics, allowing this to go on. The young lady left the the uh, rink and she was in tears. It was just so much that she could not take because she was being beat up by a man. That is the reality of the matter. She was being beat up by a man. So scientifically, hey, in theory, come as you are and we accept you as you are. But your DNA does not lie. 
the strength that you're going to continue to have, it does not lie. And it didn't lie in the rink that day mm -hmm. with that young lady. So condolences to her and her family. And I hope that justice is served in this situation. Hey, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace and love.